Okay, so there are two ways of setting questions of this nature. Um, which I mean um, the fill in the blanks kind of question. In other words, um, it's also termed as close. Um, close kind of question. Close. Now, I've realized by experience that um, the first option, which is creating this type of question one at a time, using the VLE, it's quite difficult. So most people use the hot potato software, which is the second option, hot potato software, to create a closed question, which in other words is termed as the fill in the blanks kind of question. So I'm going to go through how to use um, the, the hot potato software to create such questions. Now, other people who would also want to learn more about using the option that is that comes with the VLA can also do so by first of all going to the second semester examination quiz or exam um, examination. Then from the gear icon, click on the edit quiz. So these are the quiz that are available. You can add the close kind of question over here, which is the fill in the blanks question by clicking on new question. So once you get to this section to select the type of question, you scroll down to a section that says embedded answer. Embedded answers, which is also termed as close. So you can see when you click on it, it says questions of this type are very flexible but can only be created by entering text containing special codes that creates embedded multiple choice, short answers, and numerical questions. So once you have this selected, then you can add this type of question. Um, I've also realized that there is a lot of coding that needs to go through over here with this type of question, so I will not recommend using it but if you want to learn more about it you can always go to um, google and type how to use the closed kind of questions in the um, in the model or in the, any virtual learning environment so i'm not going to go through this because it's quite difficult um, and let's use the simple method so i'll cancel this and we'll quickly go to um download the hot potato software to make it easier to create these close kind of questions so i'll copy this um i think some of our colleagues have already downloaded this type of um this software so for the process of demonstration um, you go to the browser you type it in here then you click on enter and just start downloading or you can just go to the their basic website then you find you look out for the section that says download so you click on this one to download all right i already have the hot potato software downloaded onto my platform or onto my laptop so um i'm going to go straight ahead and start creating a, a close question. So I'll click on start. Then I'll type in hot potato. Alright, so the software launches on my system. Um, so I have it here. Now these are types of quest questions that you can create using the hot potato. Um, as you remember, um, we can create questions like the multiple choice question, which we have done over here using the J quiz. So it says create multiple choice question or short answer question, question or quiz. So assuming you want to create multiple choice question with this, and you can click on that one, then you see this dialogue this dialog box to help you create these type of multiple choice question. So you have 
that's a public question uh, section a we type the question here as you saw from this side free um cost of repair can be put in here if it's a multiple choice question then you make it a multiple choice question then the available answers that we had for this particular quiz could be could go in here for each of those questions so you can create it one at a time so um Once this is done, and of course, you can um, maybe how many old, how many old regions did Ghana have? Regions did Ghana have? Um, so that is the question. Probably, let's say, 11. 9, 10, and probably 15, not 16. So obviously the correct answer is 10. So you can check this one and automatically it selects, it makes it 100% as correct. So this is one way of creating an MCQ in the hot potato. I will not recommend this because um, the VLE has an easier way of doing this thing. So we'll maintain um, that's the option of the VLE. All right, so I'm going to close this one. So assuming you want to add a second question, you can click on this one. It goes to the next question. Then you create another question for all of this. I'm going to close this and I will not save it. Now we'll keep on with the next one so um, this is it right, so these are other examples of um, hot potato kind of quizzes that can be created um, and imported into the VLE so from here you can see we have other options we have the J match where um, the students will match probably the country to its capital or make those kind of selection. You can create questions like like that in, in, in using a hot potato. Um, we can also have a J mix where we can have a sentence um, jumbled up, and ask, we ask the student to give out or to rewrite the sentence in the correct order. Like coffee is a boy, um, and a student had, which this sentence has been jumbled up to probably boy. Coffee is something like that, and the student is supposed to rearrange this sentence in the right order. Um, the, the J crossword, just like how crosswords also works, we can give clues to the answers to some of these um, these crosswords for students to enter the to make the right decision and come out with the right crosswords for. The selected quiz that the lecturer has um, created. Um, J quiz, that is what we've already done, which is the multiple choice question. And so, uh, what we are interested in is the J close kind of question. So, I'm going to go through this. These other ones, um, in future, I would, I would add them into the playlist for anybody who is also interested in such questions to add them. All right, so I'll click on. The close. Okay, so this is the window for the J close kind of question. Um, at the moment, I have a question here which I would want us to use as an example. Okay, so um, so this is the question. Um, so from here, um, the students will have to answer these questions and these are the answers for each of the question so you can see that it says section a a total mark of 22 is to be awarded so that in that case that is what is going to we're going to use to um as the title of this particular day close so i'm going to copy this one uh, and paste it here Um, just a minute. OK, 
okay so now let's begin by typing in the question so the first one says um, in, let me just copy the whole thing so once you have your questions in there you can just copy them and paste it and paste it in here so we just take your time and and reorganize it to make it very easy all right so once this is done you can see from here that this is where the student is supposed to fill in the right um the right answers to this particular question for the question one so it says in many countries for the form the form of the form or kind of land tenure is influenced by the kinds so it's influenced by the kinds of law so that is one so this is what we want the student to type in here so excuse me sir. so this is what we want the student to type in here so we make that one as a gap so by the kind of laws then we say gap so it gives us the chance to now enter so that is the word that we expect the student to um, to type it in to type in there we can good give the student a clue if we want if we don't we will just forget about it um, assuming in situations where a student also type the type of law assuming in your in your handouts you have the option for type of law to as well you can also type it in there and we'll click OK so the, the student if the student types the kind of law it will be marked correct if he also types the type of law it also will be marked correct this is based on what is in the handout given to the students all right so the next one will be um, traditional tradition slash family so we'll select that one too as well as a fill in and make it as a gap for the student to type the exact word so the student will have to do all of this now i already have this one also set up here so i'm not going to save this i'm going to pull the correct one of this particular question in here so at the end of the day i have it organized in this way so as you really make you want to make corrections or changes to it you can just click on it and we go to gap sorry you can just select you can select it and we show the words in the in the gap so that is a kind so that is one um individual base too if you want to show it we can also show it so you can see from here the actual answer is individual based but in situation where a student also type individual hyphen base it should also mark it as correct so when you have alternate answers to what is given to what is supposed to be in the the question itself you can put all those alternate answers in here so first one second one third one so if he enters individual base it is correct it says individual hyphen um, base is also correct for the student so it's also it runs through for all of this so once the student answers all of the all these questions filling the gap question correctly he has a total mark of 22 so let me see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So that is a total mark for this particular kind of question, which is the J close fill in the gap kind of question. So when this is done, then you, you can save it. You can save this question into at any place that you want. Let me just go to save us and you locate where the question is and you just put it in there so this is what we would import into the VLA when we are creating um, a closed question so I'll cancel this one 
I have this already saved. So I'm going to close this one as well. And close the hot potato too as well. And go to the VLE. This time round, I want to import a um, hot potato close question. So I'll go back again to the second semester examination. I'll navigate to um, either import this type of question or go to the question bank if I want to do any corrections. So I'll go to import. So at this section, we will select the hot potato Excel format because the close question that we've set was made using hot potato. So I'll select hot potato close format. Now at the general section, I'm going to put it in probably the MCQ examination um, category that I created earlier. It could be it could be the default category as well. So I'll select this one. And once this is done, I will move on to the import section to import the file. So I'll click on import. I'll browse the location of the file. Um, the file is located here. So I want. I've selected the file. This is the hot potato file that we created. Now click on upload. And from here, I will click on import to import the, the question. Now, um, if you had used the other way of doing the squeeze um, of, of creating the clues, which is the from the VLE, we might be entering some codes probably similar to this one, but because we didn't use that, this is the code that is being imported using into the VLE using the touch potato. So I click on continue. So now our question has been added into the hots into the MCQ questions that we created earlier. So this is the section A, a total of 22 to be awarded. Now we'll have to ask this question to this close question into our second semester examination question. So I'll go back again to the second semester examination question. Click on the gear and navigate to the edit quiz. So at this section, I'm going to add from the question bank the close question from the hot potato. So this was found in the MCQ examination. Then this is the the close question that we fill. So I'll click, I'll select it, and I'll add it to this. All right. So you can see from here that the MCQ questions that we created earlier, they were all one mark, one mark. But for the close question, we have a total mark of 22, which is, which is located, found here. And over here to add in all these, we have a total of 27. So now the maximum grade that we have from here is 10. So if a student gets 27, it will be scaled down to 10 marks, we can change this one. So now we are done with the addition of close or filling the blank kind of question in um, for VLA. So that ends the, the other objective that we had over here. So we've created a multiple choice question, we've created a fill in the blank. The next is to create the essay question. Thank you very much.